It's so. juicy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's delicious. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> that's definitely going into my bowl. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be making something for us today. So what are you going to make for us, Mildred? So Mildred? we are going to make a stir-fry mung beans with some leaves from the garden that we pick, like bok choy and uh, alubati. Like it's a family of spinach, this one. Okay. So we just saute it with onion and garlic and tomato, then mix these leaves with the rice. Okay, sounds good. Let's get started. Yep, so would you like to cut that? Okay. Whatever you prefer to cut, feel free. <laughs> How do you want me to cut these? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Is it like quarters or maybe into yeah, thirds? Just, just uh, saute it so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to... Mm -hmm. so Got some garlic, slice some garlic and onion and tomatoes. Okay. You can use as much as you would want to use, but I just use like three big cloves of garlic and half of this onion. Okay. Have you tasted this before? No, I haven't. Oh. I haven't actually cooked with mung beans before, so. Oh, so this is your first time? Yeah. It's good. See how we go? Yeah, this is one of our favorite <laughs> quick preparation for lunch, or okay. for breakfast or dinner. Nice. Yeah. So you cook this mung beans, right? Yeah. How long did it take you to cook that? Um, maybe for 10 minutes because I have to soak the mung beans overnight and then I, my pot is um, bell crop like a salad master pot and it's easy to cook the mung beans. Okay, mm -hmm. so you soaked it overnight and then you just cooked it with water? Yeah. So okay. Mung beans. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Got some big cloves of garlic there. Yeah. They look very nice. You want me to chop those too? How do you want me to? Okay, I'll chop it. Make it small. Okay, and we're ready to. Okay. So Mildred, what do you and your family usually eat during the week? Are you guys vegetarian? Uh, we, yes, we are vegetarian or vegan. Okay. And we still eat eggs sometimes. We mix it with our food, but most of the time we eat mostly organic food. And okay. we, have, we live in a farm in a 12 acres and we have veggie gardens and they have also fruit trees around our farm. and. Uh, yeah, so mostly oh, organic. They are so expensive, but sometimes I uh, look for special. Yes, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can relate. I like, love looking for specials too. Yes. <laughs> so it's good when we can save. Mm -hmm. All right, so we finished chopping up yep. everything. So would you like to take that? I'll just uh, put them together. Okay. And we can start uh, the thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just put some olive oil in the pan. Do that. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna chuck everything in there now. Yeah, you can just chuck everything. All right. Then I always use herba mare salt to cook. It's so expensive, right? But it tastes <laughs> so yummy because this salt. Has lots of herbs in it. It's really yummy. Nice. Mm -hmm. So where do you get that salt from? So you can buy this from Coles or Woolies. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
there, but in the mung beans, it's already has salt in it. I use the big pink rock salt. So you just stir it. Okay. <laughs> oh, this smells so good already. Yeah, I know. Wow, it's yummy. It looks <laughs> good. I'll just add a, a, a lid of this tamari soy sauce. Okay. So this is on high heat, is it? Yeah. Okay. We will just lower it to bell. Okay. And we'll put our mung beans. Okay. Sauté it. and just add water because it's a little bit soupy okay okay yeah so that's it we'll, we'll just leave it we'll just leave it there and then put the lid on okay no, no. all right so what are you doing now mildred so be careful of this look. <laughs> We've just picked these greens mm -hmm. fresh from the garden. Yeah. We're not even gonna wash them because they're clean. Mm -hmm. They're perfect. <laughs> Full of nutrition. Yeah. Maybe some extra protein. <laughs> we're, we're getting rid of the protein. <laughs> we're getting rid of the mistake. Oh, no. Okay, so I have some book choy here. Mm -hmm. Book choy. I'll just Put it there, and then maybe you can uh, do like that. Okay. I think I'm gonna be bad. You this. can use uh, kale or other leaves to go with your mung bean soup. Okay. I don't think we're gonna break these quickly. Mm -hmm. So how do you break this one? Just in you half? Just cut it. So that's the leaves that we're using, just like a baby spinach. Oh, okay. But it's uh, we call this alubati. We use this part of the stock too. Yeah, or? yeah. You can use that. We okay. will eat all, even the stock. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's good for you. Looks good. Looks good. <laughs> it's always good to eat our greens, isn't that right, Mildred? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so we did. We're gonna wash the greens. <laughs> so we're also gonna make some mung bean patties now. So Mildred's getting all these ingredients out and um, we'll be making it. We have five cups of mung beans there. Then we'll add this mm, tomato puree. It's so yummy to have tomato puree in your patty. So how much of the puree do you think? I think I put mm -hmm. uh, one half cup. Okay. Okay. Then we will slice that. Into okay. Do you want me to slice it? Yeah. Small. So I'll peel it. Peel it. And we'll put some capsicum in it. So is your paprika organic as well? Yeah, it's um, certified organic. Okay. And Where do we get the um, organic spices from? Can you find them in Woolworths? In or? the health shop or in the okay. race. Yeah, in the health shop. And 
some turmeric. Okay. So you got all your herbs. It's really good. So the moon beans is already uh, salty because I put salt in it when I boiled it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I can add uh, some soy sauce and more sauce. Sorry, soy sauce. So one cupful? Yeah, one cupful of tamar soy sauce. Okay. And we'll add our flour. Okay, so we'll just check our own bean soup and add our ribs. So you don't have to cook this overcook and it, it will lose the taste. Mmm, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Stir it. Mmm, that smells good. Yeah. Really good. Did you mention, Mildred, that you usually put coconut milk in this? Yeah, you can put coconut milk okay. in this, but we make it plain. Since okay. we're making party this time. Alright. So if people wanted to add coconut milk, would they just use one can of coconut yeah, one milk? One can of small one. Coconut okay. Milk. Yeah. The light one. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Nice. <sighs> smells so yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think of moment? Oh. That's it. It's finished. Oh, okay. You don't have to cook. Just a half cook. This is our beautiful patty mix. It's looking amazing. All those colors are popping. Those colors look. The capsicum, mm -hmm. the purple onion, the shallots. Okay, so I'll just put this one. Oh, I should wave to this one. <laughs> Are you hungry, Asha? Yeah. So you're just adding some more salt to the patty mix? Okay, so I just added herba mirror salt in the patty. So now we'll add some flour. It's gluten-free flour. Ah. Mm -hmm. I notice you have a lot of gluten-free products around the house, Mildred. Yes, because um, my family, especially my husband's family, they have lots of allergies. Um, so we've been using mostly or all the time looking free. So okay. I just estimate, I think we need just two cups of gluten free flour. I just got this free from gluten, plain flour. And buckwheat flour. We put some buckwheat flour in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you must have learned a lot of recipes that are gluten free, and you must be doing yeah. a lot of experimenting yeah. in your kitchen. Yeah. Sometimes I failed my experiment, but sometimes it's good, and I'm used to cook and eat gluten free now. So Asher is just helping me. You want to help, little man? Thanks, Asher. Mm -hmm. You can face that way if you like, you then your face, face can way. be in the camera. So this is my little man here. He's also gluten-free. Right? Do you like gluten-free little man? Yeah. Yeah, so... I like peas and corn. Yeah, peas mm. and corn. So this one is moon bean patty. Yummy! Good mixing. Mm -hmm. So for five, cups of moon beans so you need like two cups of flour you can use different kind of flour but we prefer to use gluten free flour okay but the flour right okay that's it and these flowers you can just find at bullies right mm -hmm. okay yeah sounds good so that's one thing 
that little. Good helping. Good helping, little. So this is a soup, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to eat the soup with some rice. rice yes. And Mildred's already put some brown rice mm -hmm. on the stove. Mm -hmm. So that should be ready shortly. And we will make some salad too. Oh, we're making some salad too. We're going to have a big feast. Okay. Healthy. Okay, now, let's see if I, if I run out of olive oil for cooking. Okay. So, would you recommend cooking these in olive oil or rice bran oil or doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. There is a cooking oil you can use. Okay. So, let's see. That's how I make the patty. Okay. Can you do that? Too easy. I'm very good at this. Mm -hmm. I know, right? So we are going to make salad using this salad master pot processor. Yes, Ashley wants to do it. So we'll put our cucumber first. Do it little mess. We'll change it to different cone this time because we'll make it a little bit smaller for the carrots. Okay, so let's do this. Can you see that now? Wow, wow. Ooh. Thanks, Asha. Okay, so can you get the other cone? Use the other cone. Other Okay, we'll do the capsicum. Oh, that makes it super beautiful. The color is really good. Okay. Let me do it. Let me do it, Mama. Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. Good. Help mom in the kitchen? Side, it's a little hotter than the other side, so 
Wow. It's just trying to... Good salad. Smells good. Best part of cooking. Right? <laughs> taste test. So now we, we need three people to taste test? Or everyone? <laughs> taste test is like using your spoon. We're just going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eat it first. Oh, okay. This is Joel. <laughs> now just hold it. It's juicy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's definitely going into my bowl. How many? So many. I can't believe this. I'm not a huge. I'm not a huge fan of patties, but this one is. Your favorite. This is the favorite. Mm -hmm. This is better than usual. No eggs. This one. Okay. The patties get a thumbs up. Double thumbs up. That's so good. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. 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 I think you're doing a really good job of tasting this. I like the, um, I like the yes, burnt yes, like patties. Uh, one would think it's a full-time job. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it is. You don't deserve cooking. I'm always having to eat it. Is, is Joel in the picture here, Junior, or does he have to come in the centre? Come, come here. Come here. Oh. In the centre. Mm. He's not well, waiting. <laughs> what? I have to eat my food privately. And that? Mm. Is it yummy? Is that? Um, mm. Yummy? It's good. Mm. Put it nice fresh leaves, mm -hmm. a bit of dressing. No cashew dressing, which is my favorite. So I have to, I did that have to complain a little bit about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's so boring on this cashew. And then we'll cashew. try the um, mango. Oh. Oh, mm. so How is it? Mango. mango is good. It reminds me of Philippines. Philippines, yeah. Yeah. Mmm, okay. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hey, Junior, you have to try. Oh, yeah. Yay. Which one am I trying? I don't know. Try, try everything. Try the, the... What do we call this dish? Mongo. Mongo. I'm pretty it's sure the that's... Mm. <laughs> I doubt it. Mm. <laughs> What do we put this on? Yeah, the okra? Finger, okra. Okay. It's Filipino dish, guys. Good. All right, we're going to sign off here at Forte's. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Mildred and Joel, mm -hmm. for joining us and sharing with us a little bit mm -hmm. about your kitchen, mm -hmm. what you mm -hmm. eat. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>